Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Unity 2D platformer tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a trapdoor. So we're going to click play and show you how to do this right now. So we click on trapdoor, it opens and lets us fall through and changes the sprite. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. Okay, so today I'm going to be introducing you to sprite sheets. So what that is, is it basically allows you to uh, import two sprites on one thing. That way you can do that. You also can do two separate sprites, but you can put them on the same sheet if you want and just cut them up into two different sprites through Unity right here. Okay, so here's a script that makes it all work. We'll open that really quick. Actually, it's already open. Uh, so what we do here is we define a couple of variables. So we have our sprite renderer and our box collider, and we set these down here. So we get the component on our game object. So click here and then we find our box collider and our sprite renderer and then we get those so we can modify them okay next we set a boolean called trapdoor open and we set it to false because default is not open and then we make variables called our open and close sprite so that we can set those right here and that our script has access to change between those two sprites so what we do here is when we click on it, that's our void on mouse down, if the trapdoor is not open, or if it's closed, then the sprite render will get changed it to the open sprite. Then we're going to set the boolean to true, uh, to open, so true, and then we're going to make it so we can fall through. You can use this by disabling the box collider or setting it is trigger to true. That's what I did on here is I just used it is trigger, and if it's not false then if it's true then we want to change the sprite to close change the trapdoor open to false and then change our box collider trigger to false also okay so that is how this works right here so when we click on it it changes it to trigger and changes it to the second sprite so we can move through it and we see the second sprite i know the artwork isn't that beautiful and then when we click on it again it, the is trigger turns back off and then we can jump on it and it's now the first sprite just if you guys enjoyed this tutorial thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel for more content and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye